All right, what is going on guys? It's KBZ, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys secrets to make the Spins 808 sound better. So pretty much, I'm just gonna go through some methods that I know of to make the Spins 808 better, some things I've heard Southside do, heard Metro do, etc. So yeah, the goal of this video is just to make it so that your Spins 808 sounds as good as it can. And pretty much, these methods will just help the uh, 808 punch through the mix a little bit more. So yeah, if you want any of the sounds that I use, the link to my drum kit and the link to my mixing kit are right down there in the description. So click the those links and you can get all the sounds you need. Also, go follow me on Instagram. I'm about to hit 3,000 followers, so follow me at KBZTheGod. Once I hit 3K, I'm going to do a giveaway of free kits, free sounds, all that for you guys. So make sure to follow me so you can get a chance to enter that giveaway when it happens. So that's pretty much it for the intro. I'm going to show y'all how to make your spins 808 sound better. Alright, so yeah, I'm here in FL and I got a melody, a hi-hat, and a clap. Uh, and I'm about to show you guys the 808 pattern. So yeah, here's the uh, melody. So here's the regular spins 808. All I did to it was just turn it up uh, using this button. I just turned it up and it's in the mixer. So the first thing you want to do is go to your melody and always cut out the low end. So that's going to make your 808 hit harder. Uh, because you don't want the low frequencies in the melody to mess with the low frequency of the 808. So I cut that out using the uh, default EQ, just like that. Now I'm going to make an 808 pattern. So. Alright, so that was just the regular Spins 808. Now I'm going to show you guys the first method to get your 808 to cut through the mix. Alright, so the first method, uh, what you're going to do is go into General Settings on FL Studio 11. And you go into Advanced. And you see this button right here, Enable Legacy Pre-Computed Effects. Normally that will be uh, not highlighted, so you just click that button, which I've already done, so you can see it's already highlighted. But you just click that right there. Uh, and that thing will turn yellow and then you're gonna have to restart FL and that will enable the legacy effects. So what those are is uh, in the little box, so like I clicked 808, it brings up this little box thing. What you can do, well, as you can see, there's the legacy effects. So these do like different things to the actual waveform of the 808. So here's the original Spins 808. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reset the volume uh, so it's not so loud, and I'm just going to tweak with that this FXI knob. And as you can see, that makes it hit for like, it makes the 808 bigger for longer. So it doesn't fade out as quick. As you can see, that fades out this. It takes a while to fade out. Um, and then the amp too. So you can just mess with those to make the 808 way louder and like way more, just make it hit harder in general. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mess with this FXI knob. Now that makes 808 just hit way harder. And then what you can do is the out knob. Um, this is what Southside did in In Her Mouth by uh, Future. You just drag the out knob. So then when you do the FXI knob and the out knob right here, it makes 808 shorter, but it also hits hard. So uh, that's also what uh, Metro did on Hell of a Price by Gunna off his new album Drip Season 3. Uh, you can just mess with the F FXI knob and the amp knob to make the 808 hit, 808 hit way harder. So yeah, that method, the legacy effects, is especially useful when you're using a melody that's like really muddy or it has a lot of frequencies in the low end. What you can do is you can just mess with those knobs and it'll make the 808 way louder so it can cut through those low frequencies of the melodies. Alright, so that was the first method. Now I'm going to show you guys a second method, uh, which I don't think many people do, but I'm going to show you because uh, I do it a lot. So let's say I just turn the 808 up uh, fairly loud, then I'm going to go in here and go to Fruity Blood Overdrive. Now this will just add a little bit extra layer of like sort of distortion, but not really. It just makes the 808 like a little, cut through the mix a little bit more basically. So. 
That's with Fruity Blood Overdrive. That's without it. It just hits a little harder, and what I like to do is I just hit the arrow one time. Or you can hit it twice. I like just going to this, uh, the third preset, so you hit this arrow up here twice, and then... That's my favorite. It just it adds a little bit of... Uh, like, I don't know, it just makes the 808 sound a little different, so... And uh, I'm pretty sure Southside did that on... Um, a Man by Travis Scott. So if you're wondering how the 808 sounds so like fuzzy on there a little bit, then Fruity Blood Overdrive is the plug-in for you, cause it just makes it a little bit more uh, like distorted in a way. So that's a method I like to use a lot. So yeah, that's the second method. That one helps uh, not as much as the first one. Like that's not as extreme. I just sort of do that to make the 808 sound a little bit cooler, but it also does help punch through the mix a little bit. So uh, if you're going for like a little bit less of a extreme effect, I would try that one. Alright, so here's the third effect, um, Fruity Fast Disc. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can use this plugin, it's pretty diverse, uh, so I'm going to show you how I use it. Um, so the first way I use it is I just have this preset that I made called the Wheezy 808, and what it does you can just copy the settings here from these knobs. It makes it so it's distorted as you can hear, but it also just makes it way louder because like obviously if I just did like, like that's just super distorted and it doesn't even sound good, but if you tweak the knobs to uh, copy these settings and make sure you're on distortion B, it'll make the 808 sound distorted but also just a lot louder and hit a lot harder so. And I've, I've heard Wheezy do like similar things to that in the past, so if you're looking for like a Wheezy uh, type feel to your 808, I would do that. Um, also, the one thing I like about this plugin is you can really tweak it to sound however you want. Because like, as you can see, if you're just going for like a super distorted 808, you can just do that. And you can, it's really easy to tweak, like you can do whatever you want on here just by tweaking these knobs. And I like how there's two different uh, like sounds of distortion. There's distortion type A and B. So you can you can do a lot of different things with that. Um, also, uh, this is another one I made. Uh, you can just mess with these knobs until it looks like that, and then change it to type A. And uh, I pretty much use the uh, fast dis distortion method when I'm looking for just like a super like dirty sounding 808 because it sort of makes it sound worse but at the same time better uh, if you know what I mean so yeah I use that when I'm just trying to go for like a super loud 808 because uh, that that can really help it punch through the mix all right now for the fourth method I have all right so for the fourth method I have a uh, plugin called the capitator by sound toys um, and this is sort of the weirdest method because this this just makes the 808 sound like completely different uh, if you tweak the settings right. So here's the regular Spins 808. Here's it with the Capitator. It just adds like a ton of like a weird layer of distortion to it. So um, you can use this if you're really going for like a weird effect. Like uh, I would say it sort of makes it sound like Ronnie J almost. So yeah. So yeah, with this plugin you can do a lot of things like just all these knobs and like the thump knob, the punish knob, they just really change how the 808 sounds. And then there's like five different types of distortion here. So you can change the tone of the actual distortion itself as well. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I don't use this that much, but I've, I've used it before a few times. so. Um, and I know a lot of people that do use it, so if you're going for a really extreme feel, then I would use Decapitator. Because honestly, that doesn't even sound like the Spins 808 anymore. Like, you can tell it, it does if you have a good ear, but it sort of sounds completely different. So if you're going for 
a completely like odd feel, I would use Decapitator. Uh, and then you should be good. Alright, so yeah, I hope I was able to help you guys um, with your Spins 808 because a lot of people always ask me, you know, how I make my Spins 808 punch through the mix and stuff. So I hope this was able to help you. If you want any of the sounds uh, that I use, the links to my drum kit and my mixing kit are down there in the description. So click those links and you can get every sound you need to make a beat. Also, go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at KBs of the God. Um, I'm doing a giveaway once I hit 3,000 followers on Instagram and I'm only like 75 away. So if I were you, I would go follow so you can get a chance to win a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away sounds, kids, collabs, all that. So yeah, go follow me at Kibbies of the God. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. That's going to be it for me. Remember, always stay dripping. And that's it. I'm out.